Hello everyone, my name's Holly. I run Pebble & Co, a sticker and stationery shop, and I am a self-confessed planner addict. I've been using planners for 10 years. I am absolutely obsessed with them. Um, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Filofax Mini Molden. I've shown amazing self-control with this because it arrived around lunchtime and it's just been sat in its cute little box waiting for me to open it ever since. So we're going to do it together. We're going to open it together. We're going to see what we think. And then I thought it might be cool if we did a little setup of it. So I've been preparing all week. I've got all my bits and bobs and I thought we could go through it together. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is just how tiny this is. I mean, this is my hand for scale. I've got small hands anyway, but I'm just going to bring in my A5 planner, which is my sort of life, really. Um, I mean, that doesn't even fit in shot. Look, so that's the mini box compared to the A5 planner. So there's a, there's a huge difference. So let's open it and have a look. Okay, a bit scared. So the first thing that I want to tell you is I've, I never buy new Filofaxes. It's just not something that I do. I always buy them sort of pre-loved. So the reason that I ended up getting this one new is because my mom very kindly gifted me the money to do so because I ordered one on eBay um, and it came and it just it was rubbish. It was just fit for bin. It were all ripped. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just take it off. I'm too excited. Ooh. There we go. Get rid of its cute little box. I'm going to save that. Don't know what for. Okay, so the first thing is, I know there's a lot of people have different opinions about this leather because some people think that it's too creased and too textured and some people think that it's too soft. I actually like that. I think that it looks nice. It looks sort of weathered. Um, it is supposed to be, it says here, I don't know if you can see, an antique leather. Um, so it's not supposed to be crisp and new and things like the classics. It is supposed to be a little bit crinkly. You don't feel overly soft to me. Let's have a look. So they always send that silly protective thing. And these cards, so you can't really tell how stiff it is. Okay, it's quite soft. It's quite... I mean, I hate it when people do that on videos. I don't know why I've just done that. I'm sorry. Um... Let's just take all this out because you can't tell, can you? Okay. I mean, it is soft. It is bendy. Um, but I think, you know, it, it's it's nice. I'm going to be setting this up as a wallet. So I don't want something too stiff. I want something that's going to be durable, that can live in my bag. Um, that if you do get a few little scratches or wear and tear, it's not going to show. And I don't think that this will, um, even though it's a light colour, just because of those creases. I think it's really nice. So... We'll have a look at what it comes with, all the inserts and everything, and all the pockets. I don't use the inserts that it comes with, but I want to show you guys what's in it. So we'll do that now. Okay, so let's just get rid of all of that. First little fly leaf. Um, I'm guessing that's just to protect it sort of thing. I, I don't know anyone who uses them. I'm sure there is someone. It comes with four little dividers, little card dividers. I used to use these when I first um, got into planning because they are quite durable. You can just change the tabs and put your own sections in. Okay, what diary? Okay, so it's the standard week on two pages that you get. I mean, it's perfect, isn't it? You could just get that out of the box and use it straight away for just keeping appointments and things like that. Um, it's enough room to just write a little bit there. And what else do we get? So a full 2021 diary. I mean, it's not very useful when we're in May. But. And then a little notes section, addresses. Do you get anything else? Oh, just some plain lined note paper. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be using any of this. I know that feels wasteful. Um, I'll see if I can find someone who wants it or needs it. But for me, that's just not what I need it for because I'm going to be using a wallet. Ooh, new rings. How nice. Okay, so we get this little pocket at the front. I'll be using this for coins. The zip's still nice and new and stiff. But it's just enough for a few coins. You get one card slot, two card slot, three, four. It's got your 
classic leather pen loop. They always take a little bit of bending to make them flexible so they can actually fit a pen in. Um, and then a big back pocket at the back. I'll use that for cash with it being a wallet. Um, I'm really impressed with this. The, the Maldens come with a colour contrast stitching, but this is the duck egg blue and I don't think you can really tell too much. It sort of blends in nicely, which I'm glad about because um, on some of the like brown ones or the navy ones, the contrast's really strong. And while for some people that's that's you know that's what they want, it's it's just not what I want really. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I think it's going to look neat. Look how small it is. Just compare it to the A5 again. So look, you can see it's tiny. <laughs> I do currently use a mini for my wallet. I use a um, uh, Finsbury I use currently. It was gifted to me by one of my wonderful internet friends. She just sent it me randomly, which was lovely. And I've been using it ever since. So I'm, I'm very grateful to get a new one. Shall we set it up then? I'll just get all my bits and bobs. Okay, so in my A5, it, that's a really minimal setup. I use cloth and paper inserts, um, mostly cloth and paper dashboards of my own, from my own shop. And um, it's quite simple, quite minimal. There's not a lot of deco going on. It's just, it's my brain on paper. It needs to be simple, it needs to be easy to understand, and it needs to not be too in your face um, and confusing, to be honest. The mini that lives in my bag that can be a little bit more decorative a little bit more fun definitely a little bit brighter because i want to set it up for like spring summer um so yeah i'll show you what i've made everything in this planner i've made myself apart from um a few bits of dashboard and vellum and things like that um and the clips so first of all we're going to start with the dividers so these dividers i make myself um, I just print on vellum and then I laminate it, um, but it looks really nice, really simple because a lot of the deco comes from sort of vellum and dashboards and stuff. Okay, um, so in this planner we're going to have four sections. We're going to have lists, calendar, info and cards because it's my wallet. So we need a space for debit cards and I'll explain how I do that later. So dashboards in, let's start getting every section. So lists, what I've done for lists is I've made myself some inserts. So this is a list one, it's printed back to back. It's difficult to um, leave enough room on the minis. It's got this kind of floral printing. So we've got lists and then we've got notes. So what I'll be using this for is when I'm out shopping, you know, a little shopping list or if I remember, oh, I need to do that just write a little note for myself um the paper that i use is quite a thick cardstock it's a little bit excessive to be honest but with it being in my bag all the time i just want something that's hard wearing um and i don't slip my inserts because i'm scared they'll fall out i know that if i did i'd probably never go back but for now not for me okay next section's my calendar so for the calendar then I don't need a weekly and I don't need a daily in these. I just need a monthly. Just something though, so that I can see whose birthday it is in a quick glance, what important days there are. So each month consists of two inserts because you need to keep it small. It's a mini. So we've got front cover for important dates so you can write what's happening and what date. And then you open it up and it's just a monthly calendar. Just simple little squares. Um, and then the back, just another space for notes for every month. So I'm going to put three months in for now. I've got May, June and July. Um, and then we can add or take out as we need because we don't want it to be too bulky. So that's them. Next part is info. Now I know what you're thinking. What does that mean? So for the info, it's really simple actually. I have places that we like to go to eat in Sheffield where we live because... I don't know if you're like me and my husband, but when we're out, it's where are we going to go? What are we going to do? We, we never have a plan. So if I've just got a little list of places that we like, just makes it a lot easier. Saves a few rows. Um, and then fish shops, because I keep a fish tank, so it's nice to have a list of them. Measurements for the house. Things that you always need, like blinds and whatever. And then just insurances. So like as car, as pet insurance, that sort of thing. Because that's the kind of stuff that when you actually need it, you can never find it. 
so that's in there and then cards so with my cards then i make these myself so i'll show them to you now okay so with the card holders then yes it's got four pockets and that's fine that's plenty but i'm a bit of a loyalty card addict so i need more than that so what i've done is i've printed out the same pattern pattern as the inserts on um like a tracing paper vellum type material laminated it and then just attach these little card pockets i've done that in both my minis um and it just gives you more card slots so them card pockets i just ordered off amazon they were super cheap and then you see you just pop your cards in oh she says pop your cards in and then they're in your planner it's a lot easier um you know you shouldn't be making life decisions based on how many card slots your planner's got like oh i can't get any nectar points today because my planner won't fit it so yep there we go so i've got room for eight cards in there yes they stick out a little bit onto the pen loop but when it's closed it's really not going to be a problem she says that sort of looks like a problem oh okay so i'm gonna persevere but i think i already know that um we're gonna have to change these dividers for top loaders because look why does it do that these same dividers have just come out of this mini um metropole this was the ebay that were fit fit bin um and it fits perfect so this must just be like a little bit narrower so we're gonna need to change it for top tabs but we'll carry on we'll see how it all looks set up and everything um okay so what's next then will be dashboards so i know i said i weren't going too crazy but i have sort of gone a bit crazy so we're going to start um i like a nice cover thing with my name on just in case i forget um so that's going to go front and center the rings are getting full now um let's pop that in so again i just printed that on vellum and then that is just some sort of art paper stock. I'm trying to keep this pattern throughout, but I don't want it to become, um, you know, a little bit tacky. So next for lists, I'm going to go under the under the divider. I've got this um, printed on vellum, which is a printable available on my website. Um, I've got this, which I've made as a dashboard. And if it's not on the website already, it will be very soon. And then, because I love layering. And then underneath that, I've got a piece of foiled vellum. This is from a shop on Etsy called Crescent Planner, I think. I'll link them below if I can. If it, it, I think it's Crescent Planner anyway. And um, they do some really nice stuff. My favourite dashboard that I've designed to cultivate the habit of being grateful. And then a year to view dashboard with... Um, Benjamin Franklin quote on the back not that I'm a huge Benjamin Franklin quote but I just like any quote about being prepared um and then I'm gonna use I hope she doesn't mind but this is an Emily Harvey bookmark that I've just trimmed and I'm really sorry for cutting the bottom off your beautiful illustration but it's gonna fit really nice in this planner and then under that I've got another piece of that vellum so I'm gonna use the same foiled vellum throughout just to give a sense of um you know consistency and like a theme i've got um this dashboard which again is a printable available on my website if it's not already available i'll make sure it is and then a dashboard that i made myself which won't be available but it's a favorite quote of mine from a band called pit and pending they're a pop punk band This needs to be really accessible because um, obviously when I'm in a shop and things like that, I don't want to be like, dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. So I've got a wish design. I hope she doesn't mind either. I did ask her because she's my friend. A wish design foiled postcard that I've trimmed to fit. Um, and then the same vellum again. So that's it for that section. We don't need too many on the cards. Oh my goodness. So that's inserts for the most part um it's a nice theme throughout i'm really pleased with it i do think that these dividers are going to need to be changed because they're going to stick out too much 
I don't know I don't know what their dimensions are on the mini molding but it's it's definitely different to what I've had before because I use this same size for for all my planners. Anyway, that's fine. So a few finishing touches then. Charm um, from a very cute Etsy shop, very fast delivery. Again, I'll link them below. This is just going to live on my zip. Nice little feature. And then I've got a matching paperclip charm, which is going to mark what month I'm on currently. So there we go. So then when it's closed, it's just a quick to me. Um, yes, it's pretty, but it also needs to have a function. And then I've got this other paper clip, which is just sort of a rose gold envelope thing. So now it is quite full. It's quite stuffed for a minute. Okay, now stickers. I know what you're thinking. Holly, you run a sticker shop. Surely... You've got a sticker plan. I don't have a sticker plan for this. I know I should do, but I'll show you the options. Okay, so I sell three different types of stickers in my shop. I sell the big sheets, which <laughs> is bigger than the planner. So as lovely as they are, the dots and the drops and things like that, and also the deco ones that I do, um, probably not appropriate for a planner of this size, more of a on your desk size or personal size or A5. So that's a no. Um, the other size that I sell is these little mini stickers. Um, I sell loads of different ones of these icons and bits and bobs of decoration and whatever. Um, this is just a cleaning one that I just grabbed. I could use this in the mini. I'd have to keep it in the back pocket, um, which is fine. It's not a problem. Um, but one of the perks of running the sticker shop is that you can sort of design whatever size you want. So the other size that I sell is these pocket size. These are designed to fit in card slots. So, you know, in your A5s, they just sort of stack up, which is why the banner's at the top. Um, but in the mini, they're the perfect size. So I've got these little icon ones just for putting quick things in my, in my um, diary. I'll probably make myself some little birthday ones as well. Let me know if you want them in the shop, because if you do, I'll do it, not a problem. So we'll keep them, little icon boys. In there, there you go. And then coloured dots. I have a colour system in my A5 where blush is personal, concrete is for Pebble & Co, the shop, and tan is anything to do with um, Jamie, my husband. So... I'm going to keep that system in here as well. The other thing, which obviously I'm going to need to change this, it's already winding me up. A pen. So with the Filofax Mini, my normal pen, what I use, is a, a Unipen Fine Line in dark grey 0.5. That's what I use in my A5. I really, really like it. Um, it's a great pen. It doesn't smudge. But you can see it's too big. Like, that's never going to work. It's going to stick out. So I had to get a different one. The Filofax Mini Pen, which I know is extravagant. You don't need a matching pen to your Filofax. But I just thought, well, I love minis. It's designed for the job. It's a twist, just normal ballpoint pen. Um, and it fits perfectly. So this leather's really stiff because it's new but oh my goodness you can see once it's in it fits perfectly it's the perfect sort of size if I didn't have silly long dividers so yeah I'm really happy with that I hope you are too I hope it's given you some inspiration for your Filofax and your little minis um, set them up as wallets because it's the cutest thing ever I get so many compliments on it when I'm out and about as well. You know, when I'm paying at a till, everyone's like, ooh, what's that? Yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know if you want me to see some more pocket size stickers in the shop. Um, and let me know what you, you were going to use your mini for. Let me know what you'd do different. So it's a few weeks later now, and I've been using this um, every day for my wallet out and about. 
and I've swapped the tabs to top tabs like I said I was going to do and I've just shortened the inserts slightly um, but now I've been using it quite a while it shuts fine so I think it was just stiff when I originally unboxed it so please don't worry about ordering the molding and it being the wrong size or anything like that I think it was more a me thing than a Filofax thing that's it just wanted to give you that little update there